Good morning. So, it's been a minute since I made a little sit-down, like, car talk video. And I figured I had a few minutes before I head into work. But I just wanted to make a quick video, really, um, just talking about certain challenges, we'll say. Um, I'm not going to be so much specific on those challenges, but just to be a little bit relatable to anyone out there that may be going through. And so I saw, saw someone that made a comment post about being 34 years old, I believe they said, and that they were experiencing so many challenges. And then someone else responded to that post about them being 34 and experiencing challenges. And they said, 34 years old, question mark, exclamation point. I got shoestrings older than you. When you get into your 50s, you can then tell me about challenges. And so I want to stop in right quick because I responded to that post as well. Um, I forgot what video it's from, but I just want to stop in just for a little bit and reference the fact that Age, age really ain't nothing but a number, and it doesn't matter where you are in life. We have teenagers that are having challenges, and so for those people out there that are in their 40s and 50s and maybe 60s, and you're looking down on the 20-year-olds and the 30-year-olds, and you're looking at our challenges like they aren't nothing, I come to you like, like really asking you to reconsider and really just have a heart of compassion because we're all going through difficult things. And I can say for myself, I'm in my 30s, okay? And I can say for myself, I've had extreme challenges in my, as a teenager, as a child, as a teenager, in my 20s and in my 30s. I mean, extreme challenges that I didn't think I was going to survive. And so, I just really wanted to talk about that because I just think that we attack people so much for them expressing what they're going through instead of having a heart of compassion or empathy towards them or their situation without even knowing factual details about them or their experiences. You can still have compassion. You can still have empathy towards that person. And it's just, you know, frustrating when I see how we attack people that we don't even know based on them being 20 years younger than you are. You lived your life, boo-boo. You know, if you're in your 50 and 50s and 60s um, age group, right? Um, you lived through your 30s. You know, and if anything, you should be willing to reach out and say, hey, I get it, I understand. I know what you're going through. But... Um, I didn't really want to say much on this video. Actually, I'm about to make another video. I didn't really want to say much on this video just for the simple fact that we need to be a little bit more cautious about how we entertain people and how we empathize with people um, when they're going through. This is a time that people are taking their lives. People are really just dealing with a lot of trauma. And so, yeah, be encouraged, all my 20 and 30 year olds out there. Really, really be encouraged because this is, th these times we're in is nothing to play with. It is some scary, scary times. So be encouraged. Know that you are not alone and know that your struggles are valid. Your struggles are valid. What you're going through is valid and no one knows the depth of what you're dealing with, okay? So keep your head up and do not give up. May God be with you. I love you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.